Now to an important health alert. You may not believe it actually exists, but it does. Sitting disease. It's a real thing. Long days at work, sitting in front of a computer screen, sitting on the anchor desk for a couple of hours. Well, we need to be more active during our day. So this morning, Dr. Brandon Levenick is here from Joint Chiropractic in Palm Beach Gardens, going to educate us a little bit, help you prevent this problem. So thanks for being here with yes, us. Thanks for having me. We decided to stand in an effort to, you know, avoid the sitting disease. So tell right. us first what that's all about. So sitting disease is a term that we're using to describe the disease type process that's happening to the spine and the joint structures uh, of the spine when we sit for a prolonged period of time. And when you talk about a prolonged period of time, how long are you talking? We're talking hours and hours um, of sitting. You know, you go to a job that you may be working 40, 50 hours a week mm -hmm. and you're, you're sitting for the majority of that time. Uh, so what, what happens is these, this sitting disease mm -hmm. is occurring in, in the spine and, and that's what we're going to talk about. So show us a little bit about, uh, you brought some tools here. Yes. So show us what you can about the sitting. So what happens is when you're sitting for a prolonged period of time, this is the spine. You have mm -hmm. the spinal vertebra and joints in that spine that give cushion to the spine. Okay. Um, so what happens when we are sitting and if we're not sitting with proper posture, we're kind of slouched over. Mm -hmm. uh, what happens is you have the, the ver vertebra that are demonstrated here as okay. well as the, uh, the jelly donut which demonstrates the, the disc here. So when you are sitting straight with good posture, what's going to happen is you're going to be putting equal pressure along that jelly donut, along that disc. Mm -hmm. As you hunch forward and lean forward. Which so many of us do. Which so many of us do, yes. What's going to happen is you're going to put pressure unequally on that donut. Mm -hmm. Eventually, what happens with that is the pressure pushes on the back part of the disc and causes what we call disc herniations. And that's what we want to avoid. Okay. So, as you can see, as you push forward, it starts to bulge out a yep, little bit on there that it side. Goes. Yeah, so <laughs> that's something that we want to avoid, and uh, you know, there's a few things that we can do to avoid that. So, what are some of those things, some of those exercises that could be easily done? Yeah. So the first thing is is just sitting with good posture. Okay. Um, so come on over here. Have All right. A seat. We'll put it to the test here. Putting it to the test. All right. So what you want to do as far as sitting with good posture is you want to engage the core muscles. Okay. Uh, that's going to help support the low back and the pelvis uh, as you're sitting and it's going to take a lot of stress off of the discs. Um, so sitting with a nice round in the low back okay. as well as keeping kind of your chest up and back okay. um, is going to help keep that good posture as long as you're engaging those core muscles. All right. So sitting sitting up straight sounds like kind of the key sitting to up it straight, all, right? Exactly. Now what about the back of your chair? What if you're inclined so if you, to lean back? Yeah, if you have a really good supportive chair, that makes it easy for you. Mm -hmm. You're going to have support in the low back and you're going to, you know, not have to worry so much about about think about it. But if you do have a chair with not as much support, what you're going to want to concentrate on is sitting up tall mm -hmm. um, and using those core muscles to really keep that good posture. Now, if you are in a job where you sit for most of the day, how often should you be getting up, maybe taking a walk around the room to avoid? Yeah, to, this? Com to combat this, this issue, you want to get up probably you know, at least once an hour and make sure that you're, you know, maybe doing some stretches or, or just getting up and moving around so that nourishment can get back into those spinal joints. And are there certain symptoms that maybe people should look out for that maybe they're starting to get this sitting disease? Yeah, so, you know, typically what you'll see is, is people are just having stiffness and tightness in the low back mm -hmm. or, or in the shoulders. Um, and that's kind of the, the first symptom that you'll, you'll get when you're, you know, dealing with these types of conditions and changes in the spine and the joints. All right. Well, that's some great advice. Thank you right. so much. We appreciate you being here and uh, joint chiropractic. Looks like we've got some of your information up there on the screen if people want to come find you. Yes. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you so much.